taxi driver who would uh, take us for 1200 baht from Patong Bay down to the Cape at the, at the bottom and back here, a three hour trip for 1200 baht. Our next stop is at Caron Beach. On our way to the end of the island where there's a beautiful cape. <laughs> Further south along the coast, we come upon Caron Viewpoint. Neat. How often do you get to see elephants? And if there's one thing you associate with Thailand, uh, it's elephants. That silk and uh, maybe pretty women. Let's see. Okay, so you may just improve the whole lot. And I still haven't reached the very end yet, uh, but here's an impressive display of uh, Buddhist shrines adorned with elephants, the golden elephants. The elephant is king here in Thailand. Well, that path right to the very end so you can literally say their term called a toilet uh, i'm not quite sure what a toilet is but ah it's a Thailand's largest island. So from the mainland you cross that bridge and you get to Phuket, Patong Beach. That's where the main action is, that's where the main entertainment, the nightlife and so on. This is the wild side of Phuket right here in Patong. Tuk-tuks uh, in Patong are not the three-wheeled uh, kind. Four wheels. Seats for four. These things are made by Daihatsu, which I believe is a Korean uh, automobile uh, manufacturer. And they are the only way to get, uh, they and taxis are the only way to get up and down the island. There's no bus service. They will take you uh, around the island to all the tourist traps that there are, none of which I'm really interested in, other than the sightseeing. I talked to a taxi driver who would uh, take us for 1200 baht from Patong Bay down to the Cape at the, at the bottom and back here. A three hour trip for 1200 baht. That's about, uh, it's about $40. For two people, I guess it's okay. Elephant for 200 baht. 200? 100 baht for no, not elephant. Ah, uh, one and a half hour for one hour. Half hour now. Uh, we started out here at Patong Beach, and uh, we're driving south. Our, our next stop is at Caron Beach. On our way to the end of the island, where there's a beautiful cape. <laughs> is uh, more or less the same as we're now in Kata Beach. 7-Eleven uh, is always uh, welcome because uh, you can buy uh, your needs in there for very little. Coffee, 14, uh, 14 baht. Water, 7 baht. It's all less than a dollar. And the name of the place, as I said, is Kata Beach. And there's the 
Kata Beach Resort and Spa. Time to buy some water at 7-Eleven. Kata Beach, like uh, the other beaches, is uh, on a cove. Further south along the coast, we come upon Caron Viewpoint. Off the distance is the uh, town of Caron, and uh, I would have to say uh, that's the first town we've uh, come onto that uh, I could describe as classy and nice. So here is Caron Kata. From the Caron viewpoint, uh, off in the distance over the lush, lush vegetation uh, sits the White Buddha. It's way up there. So here's an elephant uh, mounting station, which begs the question, what's this little dog doing up here? When you're supposed to be, look at this little dog here. Little dog right here. Where are the elephants? Ah, there's one. There's an elephant. Look at that. What an Asian elephant looks like, who is, by the way, begging for bananas. But he's tied down, isn't he? Yeah, so he can't even reach the bananas. Look at the speckled colors in his trunk. Barbara and I took an elephant ride in uh, Chiang Mai and uh, found it to be incredibly bumpy, somewhat scary. And this guy is tied down by his back foot. That's the way you tie down an elephant. Uh oh, here's another one coming out of the woods now. Neat. How often do you get to see elephants? And if there's one thing you associate with Thailand, uh, it's elephants. Not silk and uh, maybe pretty women. Thailand sure does have a lot of pretty women. Brings back memories of uh, other famous capes that uh, I've been to, like Cape Cod, Cape Hatteras on the American uh, East Coast, and uh, at the end of Portugal, what's it called? Cape St. Vincent, I, I believe, uh, where Europe ends. That was very impressive too with cliffs. And I still haven't reached the very end yet, uh, but here's an impressive display of uh, Buddhist shrines. Adorned with elephants, the golden elephants. The elephant is king here in Thailand. And right there is the lighthouse. That must be a sight to behold at night. Now for the final walk out to the end at uh, Cape Promthep, uh, Promthep, 
with a P, I see beauty all around me. If we weren't on a tight schedule, a three-hour schedule with a taxi driver, it would be fun to go down there and follow that path right to the very end. So you could literally say, I stood at the southern tip of Phuket Island. At the southern tip of uh, Phuket Island uh, at Cape Promthep, we are uh, 17 kilometers from uh, Patong Beach, 12 kilometers from Kron Beach, and Kata Beach is 10 kilometers. This is a quote that uh, might summarize the feelings of uh, some tourists. No, I don't want a tuk-tuk suit or massage. Thank you very much. There are many touts that get you to try and buy that here in Thailand. Right here is an interesting sign. Uh, there are things in Thai like soy, soy sukhumvit, soy meaning uh, uh, an alley, a small road, and here's, a, here's another term called a toilet. Uh, I'm not quite sure what a toilet is, but ah, it's a, geez, it's a toilet. Look at that. It's a toilet. Right there. Toilet. Who would have thunk that? We go from toilet to toilet. All right, enough toilet jokes.